Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with a very short video clip taken out of a big team battle in a Slayer game I played on Ragnarok. It's a big about the speed boost, but let's start with the gameplay here. So I'm fighting this guy on turret rock. He picks up the turret, so I just duck around the corner, peek out, shoot him, and then I get shot from behind by a DMR, lose all my shield, and almost end up dying. And this guy across the way is in the enemy player crack rock, or the exit to their crack rock. Um, that's what I'm about to look at right here. You can see he's just sitting right there, and then he's going to hide behind that rock. So I'm just waiting for my shield to regenerate, waiting for the enemy player to make a move. And when I peek out a second time, it's, I see that he hasn't made his move, so I call on the speed boost. I want to talk about this for a second here. Normally when people get a speed boost, they don't end up using it correctly. They get the speed boost and then just play their normal play style, except going a bit faster. Um, what you're going to see is an example of me calling down a speed boost and completely changing my gameplay style to accommodate for my speed boost. When you have a speed boost, you often want to push rashly in a specific direction. And on Ragnar, it can be difficult to do that with all the snipers and people watching top middle and everything. But if you have somewhat control of the map and you have a somewhat open run on one side, you can do what I'm about to do here. So let's start up the gameplay again and see how I pull off the speed boost run. So right here I have the volume reduced and the film progressing at 50% speed. You can see I use a thruster pack as soon as my speed boost kicks in. I'm trying to gun for this guy but who's I know is hiding behind this rock. This is an excellent example of a melee not registering from behind on an enemy player. I know I probably was a little bit too far to his left and hit his elbow, but still I feel like that should have been an instant kill. Um, right here you can see I um, pull up my saw, but then I realize something. Um, if I can just charge into the bottom of the enemy base, I can at least kill two or three of them before they're able to kill me. And you can see this player does only gets like one shot on me before I'm able to thrust back into the bottom of their base. I throw two grenades right here because I'm thinking that he will follow me, but he doesn't end up doing so. And then I see that their sniper rifle has spawned, so I grab it and immediately start burning the ammo. Because I don't, if they kill me, I don't want them to have an extra amount of ammo. You have to realize I'm using the ammo perk, so I do get four extra bullets. So I'm making those four extra bullets aren't available to them. But then I see I may even be able to get away with this, so I get a double body snapshot on this player. I want you to look at my radar right about now. Um, as I use the thruster pack, again, um, you can see three people on my radar. Two of them are behind me, chasing me. Get some good shots on this guy, top middle, trying to help out my teammate and i losing a lot of my shields here, waiting for my thruster pack to regenerate, and then I thruster pack yet again, very fast um, recharge on that thruster pack, and I get it away complete with the enemy sniper rifle. Now, at the end here, I will go back and play this in normal speed without commentary, so you guys can see it, but this is what I'd like to see players doing more with the sniper rifle, is completely changing up their gameplay and stealing enemy weapons or power positions. That's what you want to be doing with the speed boost, unless you're playing capture the flag or something like that. This is the best way in like big team battle to use the speed boost, I feel like, because it completely um, takes a significant advantage away from the enemy team. So I hope this video helped you out. I'll play the clip normally um, from here on out, but thank you for watching uh, this clip, and I'll see you on the next capture or whatever end of recording. Peace, guys. Request confirmed.